There you have it, guys. That's the uh, Sydney One Dayer out of Mittagong. If you look at my description in the front, it says that I will put up maps that I do rides on. Not all, but most. And I'm putting today's ride up, and I'll put the ride up. I'll put the ride up. I can't talk about that yet. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned, especially if you're a YouTuber or one of my followers. Um, yeah, look, enjoy. Well, let's go. So this is the start of what this is, parts of what Wombie Coast Road's closed. But this is the start of Wombie and Coast Road. There we go, there's 61 kilometres. Gonna take it easy through here. I always harp on about taking it easy, I never stop. It's a narrow road and full drives, frequent this, often towing, often fast. Okay. So I'm at the caves, could not find activate data mobile, there you go, I'm not too worried about that, so this is the first of the caves, National Park, I haven't been down this road in years, literally years. I do recall tight corners and dirt, slippery dirt with little gravelly sections. And on the other side where we're going it's very narrow and a lot of the corners are blind. Just keep that in the back of your head when you come down this way. Don't be in a hurry. Don't get that adrenaline rush like you're going to have to race. This is not the road to do it on. It'd actually be easier coming through here on a smaller bike. I, I was going to bring my DRZ. There you go. Piss off, mate. I was going to bring my DRZ today. Uh, but I've got some screws that I lost on my last ride holding the back of it together and I just have, haven't got around to putting some new nuts and bolts through it. Not screws, nuts and bolts. Holding my um, rear rack on and mud guard. I must have used Loctite on my lock bolts. So, I'm on the big girl. There we go, look at that. 
I said they've tarred a few of these corners which is good that's what we come here for yeah, it's actually better that they put some tar down here in this this windy section I had a mate once do a 360 or a 180 we came through here about 12 years ago he's on a BMW I think 1200 and it was really skatey coming through here and he did a uh, what might have been a, even on this corner he came around and just did a complete 180 he was facing back at us I think it was it was just here classic I wish I had video back then there's so much stuff that you guys have missed out on the you know just getting all the content the last few years as YouTube's growing more and more of us are doing YouTube for whatever reasons so this is what we come here for this is the Beautiful. All right, guys, here we are. We've come down to the river. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I wish I had a well, it was too early for lunch. You get here so quick. I think it was only 40 kilometers from the highway to here. Look at that beast. She's a beauty. You know, when you call your bike a she, you're addicted. It's all good though. Beautiful around here, absolutely beautiful. Good spot to actually go motor camping. Pull out a rod, catch some fish. Or bring your own food. It's a good pass through section if you're going down to Victoria or something, you know, and you want to incorporate um, or leave from Mittagong and you'll miss out the whole top section of Sydney. Because you could go to, um, you know, through Blue Mountains National Park here, and where you can go head down towards um, Canberra and then, you know, you can go to Murray and Bateman from here. Like, and it's all off road, it's like 80% off road. I'll do those tracks for you guys if you you know I'll, and I'll put them in description of my of my videos so you guys can get you know I know I said I'll, if you look at my description in the front it says that I will put up maps that I do rides on not all but most and I'm putting today's ride up and I'll put the ride up I'll put the ride up I can't talk about that yet Stay tuned guys, stay tuned, especially if you're a YouTuber or one of my followers. Um, yeah, look, enjoy. Well, let's go. This is the other side of the river. Alright, this is the other side of the river. You can probably hear me a bit better now. Just as tight on this side. And you've got trees pushing you out. Lots of reasons to take it easy through here. It's beautiful though. Very slippery. Jeez. So from here, we're going to go to Taralga, I think it's called. Taralga? Taralga, I'm not sure. Not a specs guy. I'm following the map today that I've downloaded, that I've found online. So I've 
I know what to expect through here because I have ridden through here but then to where I'm going after this no I haven't I've gone through the Blue Mountains National Park definitely a few times toward Janolan Caves and I'll take you down to Sydney I love the sound of this T7 it's reverberating off the, the rocks here I'm really worried about these corners so I'm just going to focus and stop talking Jesus, look at those fucking rocks. Don't want to hang around here too long. That's some big rocks come off there. Oof. The suspension on this bike is brilliant though. I had a double one nicked up. Definitely coming down midweek makes a difference, I think, but I'm going to be on my guard the whole time. I've seen some videos of some riders that are flying over the edge here. I saw one video anyway. You guys might have seen it on YouTube. Some bloke just came around a bit too hot, I guess, around one of the corners and freaked out and that's why I like to tell you new adventure riders small bike if you haven't ridden much before to get started get the bigger ones later all right so there's 15 kilometers from down the bottom of the river up to here so when you come here this is Wombie and Caves you go around to the left here to go down to the caves but that's the way up there at this intersection you can see my map on my GPS goes that way and it goes this way that takes you up into the Blue Mountains National Park that's really good riding through there really good but today I'm on this mission so we'll go we'll keep continuing on our path for your guys day ride I will do that ride on another ride okay I'll do a GPX I'll go somewhere up into the Blue Mountains National Park I might even get as far as Oberon or something I might go that way and I'll do a map and then we'll come back and we'll come back down through here and the way we're going today or something we'll work our way back okay there you go Wombian Cast Conservation Reserve proclaimed in 1865 for the protection of the limestone caves there you go guys, we're down here, so we're going to keep moving, there's a lot of campers here at the moment, it's the school holidays, I'm not going to hang around, it doesn't take me long to get here. So we're at the other side now, this is actually the Blue Mountains National Park, I, I didn't know I was coming into it, so yeah there's obviously, this is a big network of roads all around here and this Southern Highlands area, there's a lot of different directions and whatever you can go in. So once you're out of the tight stuff, this is what you come into. There's a car up ahead of me that's putting out a bit of dust. I'm not going to try and get around him, I'll just sit back. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a rush. Alright, <clears throat> my map is saying to go off here to the right. I've been on the road for a little while, for at least 20 k's, to Swallow Tail Pass. So, this is where my map is taking me today, and then it will come over here and it will take me back up to where I'm going, back up to Mittagong. So, it doesn't look like it's that far. Yeah, it, it's it's a public road. There's a little bit of road in this in this ride, so just don't 
expect to be off-road the whole time and I'm actually glad I said in the beginning I wish I had my smaller bike but I'm glad I've got this today the, the Tenere because of the road sections you know when you're doing 20 k's here and 20 k's before Taraugan I suppose you know there's 40 and then going into Wombian Caves there's another 60 so it's about 50 50 so far but that's cool that's what it, you know it is what it is and um yeah we'll keep moving Some civilization has reappeared. It's called Brighton, is it? Brighton Road, I think what GPS says. But the, the, the GPX is below in the description. a great day ride actually I'm I'm impressed I did the I just found this map online and you know it's a, you can get it on my description I was expecting to be riding tar the whole way back but uh, I've been blessed with what's in front of me and it doesn't seem like it's a regular sort of area for people to go you know the, the four-wheel drivers and stuff which is mainly just farmers i've only come across one farmer i've been going for at least 20 or 30 k's and i'm just taking it all in really good the southern highland riders from the new south wales they probably know this and done it a million times but I'm from Sydney and I'm just out doing some exploring my exploration this is not my bike of choice I, when I do go into new areas I do like to take my DRZ or a smaller bike a lighter weight bike but you know I can get this thing through anything as long as there's no fallen trees and stuff because I'm not a log jumper I'm just a punter. Just a punter. I just missed it. There was a big brown on the right across the road. He took up this whole lane in front of me. He wasn't happy. I don't want him to grab my leg while I'm riding past, that's for sure. I don't even want to go back, that's how angry he was. I'm not a snake handler. Oh, I'm down at my ruin. Hang on, I think I'll go left there. Oh no. Oh, 
Yeah, this is great. Got it all to myself. And a brown snake. Probably quite a few. Just loving it. I thought I was going to be on tyre again for the uh, for the next hour or so, but yeah, it brought me back into the good stuff. Yep, yeah. and we've got a gate. Here we go. It's great. I'm really happy. I really want to, you guys to come out and do this ride. It's nothing difficult. It's good. So let's have a look before I turn everything off. I did stop quite a few times. Four hours and 53 minutes. There you go. And kilometers wise, it's a 185 kilometer loop. I probably could have done it a lot faster. But you know, it is what it is. I really enjoyed it. It's now 2.30, I've forgotten what time I left, but it was four, nearly five hours ago. Yeah, there you go. Love it. All right, I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget you can download this track. I'm gonna finish track, there you go. I'm gonna track name it while you guys are watching so you find it okay. This was called automatically Thursday morning activity. I'm going to call it the Mittagong Loop. This is how easy it is. So then what I do, I put this into a Google Drive and then you guys can click on it and download it. I hit save. Done. There we go. 179.68 kilometres. There's a lot of details there. I don't know if you guys get all that. So you just drop that into your Gaia or into your Garmin. Or into you uh, if you're doing your garment just use your tread app and it will sync with it there you go beauty don't forget to subscribe to my channel seriously i'm trying to get over a thou thousand let's go let's go all right i'll see you guys in the next video so there you have it guys that's the uh sydney one day out of mitigong or mitigong one day well it's not even a, a full day but there's other other areas around here that I'm going to go riding in for sure. What keeps me safe is my son's little dinosaur from when he was a baby. If you can see that, I carry that everywhere, and it goes from bike to bike with me. Even if I'm, I'm on loan bikes or whatever, I've always got that dinosaur with me. And with my daughter, I have her name written on the back of my spot tracker and that goes with me everywhere as well so when i see those two items that just slows me down it's just a little tip but while you're out doing this sydney mitagong ride just really enjoy it take it in it's a it's been a couple hundred kilometers and i'm i'm really really impressed with it i was expecting to be a lot of it road and it's not i would say it's probably 75 percent road uh, off road and i've been by myself all day love it all right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, subscribe, like. Beauty, run out of words.